Three top round 27. Debs Wheeler for her second time after producing her best score to date. Joined by Dean Fagg and Harold Cracknell all on 17 for their first time. 10 bag, 5 out of 6 including Kevin Rogers and Spencer Kingsnorth both on 16 in a round where 40 of you broke into double figures. After scoring 12, Dave Lott extends his lead to four points as competition to be crowned our fifth manager of the month heats up. Tuesday's rounds 28 hosts the second leg of the Champions League knockouts. Who will make the quarters? Kelvin Bell is looking a strong candidate after he beat Sean Grecky 17-6 in their first leg. Can Jason Mills regain some form to overturn Simon Thomas's four-point lead in their first leg? Martin Preston also looks favourite as Scott Jeffrey has only beaten him three times by seven points he needs to come back. As does Matt Morris as I've never outscored him by more than seven and I need to beat him by eight. To be honest, I think I'd still struggle even if he forgets. Good luck to us all. Strong at home, the Hammers have lost just one of their last seven Premier League home matches ahead of Tuesday's game against the Baggies. West Brom's 3-2 victory over Wolves last time out was Big Sam's first success since taking over, ending a seven-match winless run. Can they start to build on this and claw their way out of the relegation zone? Home win. A 2-0 win over the Saints last time out solidifies Leicester's credentials as titles challengers and extended their unbeaten run to six in all competitions. They will be up against it if history is anything to go by as they are without a win in the last four at the King Power Stadium. Chelsea put a halt to their three-game winless run last time out, registering their fourth successive clean sheet on the road. Chelsea just may just nick this based on their dominant form against the Foxes. Away win. Nestled in the relegation zone, Derby host side pushing for promotion. Bournemouth have registered just four losses this campaign, one of which came last time out against Luton. They failed to beat the Rams in the last five head-to-heads with Derby victorious in both games played at Pride Park. And with the Cherries lacking the killer blow in half of their away games, could another draw be on the cards? Only five teams have picked up fewer points than Blackburn in the last eight, despite boasting the highest goals tally in the league, and they have scored in all but two of them. Swansea are in scintillating form, unbeaten in six, with only Reading holding them to a goalless draw, and have only conceded the one goal across those six. The Swans haven't won at Ewood Park in ten years, and both teams have scored in each. Could this be their year? Away win. With five consecutive victories over Barnsley at Vicarage Road, Watford start as odds-on favourites over the visitors, who've suffered three league defeats to nil in the last five. The hosts are now unbeaten in four at home, conceding just the one goal. Easy home win. Unbeaten in 50% of their games at home, Rotherham prepare to host the Potters, who are in search of their first win in four. A point for Rotherham will see them climb out of the relegation zone, but with Stoke conceding an average of half a goal per game, this will be tough. Historically, though, Stoke haven't won at the New York Stadium in five straight, so they have a chance. Score draw. Good luck and thanks for watching. Hashtag I didn't forget Jeff.